at lunch. I think I didn't get anything out of this. Sorry. Good morning, everybody. I guess we were live on that. Yeah, I uh, didn't get anything either. Uh, Ed Parco here with Mike Kelly, Real Estate Jerky Daily. And today's Friday. That's correct, Amundo. It's it's uh, six more days till spring. Not Thanksgiving. <laughs> Thanksgiving. Yeah. Um, yesterday was kind of fun, um, marching around. Too bad my legs went numb from the waist down about halfway through. Oh. I thought, who is walking for me? <laughs> yeah, well, luckily, it's only was like three few minutes. Yeah, seven minutes, I yeah. guess. But it felt like it. It felt oh. like eight. I don't know. I was catching a lot of money in the air because I had a longer reach than everybody else. I actually caught two bills floated into my bucket. Oh, really? <laughs> no, I probably caught more, got more bills than what I originally started with. Really? Yeah. Wow. They were coming down right over your head then. They were, I was watching them. Boop. That one would have went over there, but I grabbed <laughs> it over there, but I grabbed it. Anyway, by the way, people don't know what we're talking about with the Salvation Army kettle kickoff. Did they say how much today. they uh, 142,000 and light. some change. That's real light compared to the previous years. No, well, we got to imagine oh, well, we had Democrats in rule for four years. So, exactly. of course, it's going to be light. It's going to be very, very light. All right. You, why don't you do your numbers oh, today? Same as Monday, but let's just get that out we're there. We're going to do redo it today because this is what they published again today. Well, um, they won't publish it until tomorrow, so we're not going to be here tomorrow. Yeah. The, when do they start doing Saturdays? They were always doing it's, Fridays before. But anyway, now they're doing Saturdays. Um, 460 closed sales per day for a week. 494 pending sales for a week. And 580 new listings in the state of California. Wow. Wow. Whew. Wow is correct. 580. That's low. Um, lower than, what was September, October? Uh, both those months were pretty high. Yeah. Um, yeah, right around 25%. I guess you could just average it out. Uh, they they closed the sale. They well, entered that's how they did and, previous week. Property, yeah. yeah. This is what they think's going forward. Yep, and they're they're still well. That's still negative still... because it hasn't really hit in about Trump. I think. Yeah, and I think because it's going to take a while for Trump effect to really help us. It's we're going to be in this uh for a while because somebody asked me yesterday, <laughs> "How's the market?" I'm like, eh. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I'm getting by, but nothing like we want it to be. We're not not we're not in fuego. We're not on fire. No, um, we're busy, but we're not on fire. It's nice to be in fire. You're <laughs> no, someone's what gonna sight by us on fire. That was a tomorrow. great song there. <laughs> I tell you, uh, hey, I come up with them all the time. Hey, I know. Um, credit reports going to be twenty percent more expensive next year. Ah. you would think with something like that that's all electronic, it would, it would get be cheaper. Less expensive. It would get cheaper, not more expensive. Well, they have to hire that person to sit in that chair to run the electronics. Yeah, but it's, it's just ridiculous. <laughs> uh, not a ton of news today. Uh, rents continue to climb, but inflation data is not catching up, meaning that even we're, you know, inflation data is months behind. Mm -hmm. We're always looking the back, so it could get worse. CoreLogic, um, here's what I'm going to get at. CoreLogic Rental Index reported that blended rates rose 2% year over year in September, which is not a big deal, which is down from 2.4% in the previous report. We can continue to see real-time market rents decline, which should be deflationary, but they're still lagging being overstated in the consumer price index and right. the personal consumption ex expenditures. Okay. That's what I'm talking about, the lag. A lot of the lag for the inflation stuff we get is all a couple months behind, all that stuff. And so we really don't know where we really are at this time. That's the bottom line, basically. Uh, we, I think it's just going to get much better next year. Yep. I do too. I believe that wholeheartedly. It was just going to take time. And uh, if they, you know, one of the things they're doing is cutting the government is the plan, right? And yeah. they, they can do it because of the two Supreme Court cases that came out um, that's, you know, says that they don't have all this power that they think they do, the, the federal agencies. Because if that, those, the Chevron case and the other one that came out and they said those agencies can't just make up these laws that, cause, you know, they're, they're not overseeing anything. They just make up a law and make your life horrible. Yeah, exactly. Everybody's life horrible. Yeah. And so that, that changed everything. Uh, next week we have Case Schiller, FHFA, and new home sales and Fed <laughs> Minutes on Tuesday, Wednesday, mortgage applications, PCE, personal consumption expenditures. That's why it's all talking about lagging of the CPA, mm -hmm. you know, the numbers. Right. Durable good orders, initial jobless claims, and pending home sales. There's a lot coming out on Wednesday. I wonder if because Thursday the market's closed because of the holiday. <laughs> so they're getting their reports And out. nothing out on Friday because nobody's going to watch it anyway. Yeah, they're going to watch the parade and they're going to go shopping at 2 o'clock in the morning. 
I don't um, really think many people go out Black Friday shopping. They do it all online, don't they? Yeah, pretty much Amazonian. It's an Amazonian I don't know. Christmas. I don't know. Um, I read this morning in an article that uh, Californians are still leaving in droves. They're moving to Texas. Texas seems to be the number one state that they're moving to. Um, and in Housing Wire this morning, it looks like um, all the people who report, all the little, um, you know, like uh, Fannie Mae, and it looks like we're going to have an increase in value, uh, probably averaging out at about 4.5%. You're talking about next year? For next year. Yeah, I already um, went through that. It was actually a few, uh, there was, because one of them was up 22%, right. one was up 12%, and one was up 4 to 5%. And I, and that, because the housing market has housing wire mortgage came out with a four housing wire came out with a forecast for 2025 we right. went over the last week but and i'm not saying it's not good to go over it again yeah, I just but i averaged it, it i averaged it at 12 percent. did you yeah because if you take all three they were so far off mm -hmm. one was some extremely high so one was so low and i always go within the middle yeah well the middle is better than the end <laughs> <laughs> and for you mortgage people out there i created a chat gpt that's so basically in in chat gpt you create these gpts where you it automatically just pops up and you for different things and i okay. did it for um underwriters always want us to explain letters and then half the people in our industry can't type or understand how to write so i created a a, a oh. letter one that will write the letter for you just drop in there what the underwriter is wanting a letter for and it will write the letter for you and That's you just copy and paste and cool. have it signed yeah so reach out to me if you want a copy of it good for you that's awesome yeah so well you... i just i'm tired of I would, so i've been doing chat gpt forever and i've just been redoing the same one i didn't understand that you can create these to where it just has that information for you yeah and, yeah i've done a few of them i one for a course if you guys want to write a course for what you do like if you wanted to write a course for um, probate sales on how to help buyer you know sellers not go through this or help other agents understand it you could i have a course one too that's a course builder that's cool yeah it's you know it's i'm because i'm doing all this stuff and it's like i gotta be a better way to do this and there was there was yeah there's always a way to build a better castle yeah so now and and for those who i've talked about this on other things about i'm if you want to do a podcast i had created a i'm creating and created a course on how to do podcasting and it's a basic one and the people have reached out don't worry i'm gonna get to you and we're gonna start at december 1st cool whatever the, that first that's Monday right around the, the corner yeah so i'm gonna do it every tuesday yeah. drop the new each level of the course for people and then that way they can go through it and make me help me make it better well we had the senior editor of the b yesterday at rotary and they're talking <laughs> about doing a podcast and i said you should stand up and say hey i'm teaching podcasts thing <laughs> and you said nope no that because the problem is it's they don't understand what we want right they're going to keep telling us what they think we want they, they think they know what we want but they don't really ask us what they what we really want right they i just want the news yeah just don't put your slant on it just yeah. tell me just report it how about this <clears throat> report the facts let me decide what i think about it yep don't tell me that what i should think be kind of like walter cronkite yeah, maybe Dan rather. That was the that was the first. Years. No, it was be more like uh, Harvey. Oh yeah, what's his name? What was it? Paul Harvey. Paul, Paul Harvey. Har this Paul Harvey, and that's the way it was. God, I used to love to listen to him. I didn't have a choice. I worked at my grandfather's dairy. It was on. This is <laughs> Paul Harvey, and we are talking about. Yeah, we listened to it at work, um, painting houses. Yeah, and I thought he was the guy. I'm getting smarter by the second. And then I'm sure he didn't make anything that's. A, some of the radio people have made in the past oh no yeah no he probably skimped on by well but... he probably made more back then because he was the only one paul there wasn't a ton of paul harvey's well and then there was casey Kasem. <laughs> no then there's the other guy that started out sacramento got big that passed away uh who's that rush limbaugh oh yeah yeah he got his start on sacramento i know radio uh, he was controversial and got real big well they talk about whatever you do Pick a side. Yeah. Don't stay in the middle. I mean, we, we, we try news. to, just we try to news. stay in it just to not, but sometimes we get our little stance one way or another. Yep. Um, but, you know, usually more one right in the middle. Yes. Yes. I just saw something ridiculous, but I'm not going to repeat it. On okay. Air. All right. Don't do repeat it. Okay. That's all I have for today. That's um, all I got too. Uh, but, you know, dude, there's 
people are looking for reverse mortgages. And I, I talked about this. I think I'll talk about tomorrow on the radio. Yeah. Um, putting together a webinar for reverse mortgages. So if you are somebody or you know somebody who wants it, I have a webinar put together. Um, it will be every Thursday at 7 p.m. Oh, that's late. No, well, that's actually uh, East Coast time. So, oh, <laughs> no, I think. And so the thing is, it's actually seven hour time. Yeah, because it because you got to think about it. Most of the people have something at four. They get off work at five or or they're having dinner or yeah, dinner and then they're done and you can do it. And it's only going to be, you know, 20 minutes or whatever, unless you need help afterwards. And then because then, it's not there's it's the discussion part of it. Yeah, it's going to be easy. And then I'll also have them on demand which means you don't have to go to the thing. You can watch it on demand and then hit, hit me up later. Because wow. a lot of people want to know it now and not wait till Thursdays. I don't have that. Because, <laughs> sure. I mean, think yep. about it. If you want to learn something, do you want to wait for the actual webinar? Or if they had one on demand, what would you do? I would watch it. I would watch the on demand. Absolutely. Yeah. 100%. Yep. Then go about my day. That's right. All right. All right. Talk to you guys Have later. Have a great weekend, folks. We're talking to Brent Bowers with the landsharks.com, right? Yep. Uh, I think tomorrow. Saturday. Yep. On what is it called? Um, Real Estate Real Jerky. Jerky. Radio um, show. iHeart Radio. 1360 AM. Power Talk. KFRV. <laughs> so funny. Anyway. All right. Everybody should be interesting. Have we'll, a great day. We'll see. Bye. And if not, you can listen to it on Monday if you don't listen to the show on Saturday or Sunday. Yeah. Make it a great day. We'll talk to you tomorrow. I'm sorry. We'll talk to you. Yeah, we actually talk to you tomorrow, but yeah. on radio. On radio. All right. Bye, bye. kids. <laughs>